Hey everybody, Dr. Schultz Jay here. Uh, another short indoor outdoor vid. Uh, I said I was going to uh, try to shoot another one of these at some point today to show you the latest renovations on the inside of the van. Um, and uh, yeah, I, uh, I was going to do this later, but it's still really light out right now. And well, we're still in the same spot that we've been for a while now. The same spot we tried to record an episode of The Low Births with Jim Jesus, which did not go very well. We talked about that in the vlog earlier today. And uh, decided to try to upload, since I was still here, and even though him and I had problems connecting, uh, I seem to have a really good connection here regardless. So I figured once I uploaded the vlog for today, which I recorded while I was here as well, uh, I would also upload a bunch of the ones that I haven't gotten to upload to YouTube yet because I know a, a couple people keep asking me if these are on YouTube because some people, depending on their, their internet connection, sometimes have problems accessing the DTube videos. I've run into that same issue, so I know. Uh, as I said, I, I do like to put, uh, you know, I, I, I've tried to make Steam it my new home, so I do try to give... So the Steemit community first cracks at all this stuff, which is why it goes up there first. And obviously, I, I'm not really a big fan of YouTube because they have, uh, you know, they, they demonetized our channel a number of times uh, before they finally demonetized it for good. So at least with Steemit, I have a chance to make a little something, something. So that's why they go there first. But I will put them all up on YouTube at some point, um, including this one. This will make it there too. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've gotten a lot of requests to put stuff up on YouTube uh, or some of the things that they couldn't see the past couple of vlogs. So while I'm sitting here waiting for those to upload, uh, I figured I would get out and uh, shoot a little video. So let's see. We have now the, the inside of the car again. And uh, as I was describing last night, there's Murder Dog. Hey, Murder Dog. Uh, as you can see, I've now cleared out the entire passenger side basically in the back there's no longer anything i had the the pet mat uh, the uh pet ramp tie you know stood standing up here with uh tied with a bungee cord and a bunch of other stuff jammed in here and uh since my little excursion to the dollar store dollar tree yesterday um you know there's the uh there's the bucket that i put up and um got some stuff hanging there so some of that stuff's off the floor you know, got those clothes hanging up over there. So uh, they're out of the suitcase, which makes the suitcase able to be crushed in a little further. So now I'm able to stand it up and it's a little more out of the way. So now it's, I mean, obviously we still don't have a huge amount of space in here, uh, but you can see Murder Dog now has this entire space. This is pretty much all of hers. And then at night, like I did last night, now all I have to do is pick up her bowls, which are right there and just shift them over. And I can actually take the cooler out, the uh, cooler, which is behind my seat, the Knox cooler, um, and just slide it right back here to this spot where the bowls are. And uh, she still has all that space, and I can still lay my uh, seat all the way back from that position, uh, which is great. So that's where I slept again last night. And, you know, like I said, I, I would like to do some, I'd like to figure out some other ways to do some shelving. Uh, I've been so busy doing other stuff, I really haven't put my mind to it. I'm sure if I do, I could figure all this out um, and, and get some other stuff going on here. But uh, like I mentioned, I do want to get rid of that duffel. Uh, I do want to get rid of the suitcase at some point, exchange it for a duffel bag. Um, you know, with uh, with my sweatshirts and um, like my long pants and 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 my uh, my my jammies <laughs> and my towels all hanging up on on the hangers. Uh, it's only like, you know, t-shirts and shorts and, uh, you know, boxers and, and socks, which I don't wear the socks. I'm not wearing that often right now because I'm, I'm, I'm rocking the flip-flops most of the time, which actually that's another purchase I made recently. I don't think I even mentioned this one. Um, but some of the best money I've ever spent. I now I've had, you know, I was never a big flip-flop guy. I've only really started wearing them regularly in the past couple of years. I've kind of got comfortable with them and decided I kind of like them. Uh, but even throughout my life when I did wear them, I don't think I've ever spent more than like 10 bucks on a pair of flip-flops and I actually spent 30 something dollars on a pair of those yoga mat ones, which, uh, are amazing. These, uh, let's see if I can get one of them up there. The, uh, Sanook or whatever the hell the name of the company is. They actually call these ones the beer koozies. Um, and they're comfortable as all hell. Oh my God. Uh, I love these things. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm not wearing not wearing a lot of socks right now. I do have a pair of sneakers with me somewhere in the car. I think they're jammed under the passenger seat right now. Um, but yeah, so I, since I don't have much need for anything like that, I can shove all the rest of that stuff in a duffel bag, and that'll take up a lot less space than the suitcase does. And as I've mentioned, 
Uh, once the wife and kids return, I'm probably going to ditch the cooler because I'm not making that much use out of it right now. And with the, uh, you see the buckets over there, there's stacks of buckets. Uh, the bottom one's actually the empty one, which is supposed to be my emergency bathroom, which I still to this point only had to use once. Um, and that was actually, I think, the first night out. And, well, I actually used it in what was my garage. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and stacked on top of that is the, uh, the food that my, my dad had sent me, the 30-day supplies of, you know, storable food. And uh, I'm slowly whittling away at that. And I may just get rid of the bucket altogether when, uh, when either the food supply gets low enough or I just decide to take it all out of the bucket and put it in a bag so it could be put in a, in a you know, it could be shaped and molded and actually fit in a different spot so it's not a giant bucket there. I still want to carry at least the one bucket with me uh, for the emergency bathroom. Originally, I'd wanted to carry another one for, like, you know, washing dishes and stuff. And I actually have a smaller one in there that's currently got, like, uh, canned food, um, the peanut butter that I use to make my peanut butter banana sandwiches. Um, and I also use for for murder dog for her medication. Um, but, you know, so like I said, I, I'd like to still have the buckets. I'm just trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out if I could, like, tie them off someplace. I mean, maybe I'll just hang them from the side of the car. I don't know anything to get them out of the vehicle and give us even more room and then eventually i hopefully i can figure out some kind of shelving system and or also add the bed and if i can manage to pull off both then uh we'll be in really good shape you know once again considering we're working with a honda element i think we're uh i think we got a, a decent amount of room and uh slowly whittling down each day and figuring out things that i don't necessarily need um, you know, one of these days I'm probably going to go back up into the car carrier and reorganize that and possibly ditch some, some stuff up there because that's where the, uh, the pet ramp is now and a bunch of other things, um, which I really haven't been using. I mean, obviously the camping gear I'm keeping there because I will most likely be using that this, uh, well, Sunday, Monday, whatever, once I head upstate and I go, go stay at my, uh, my, my buddy's uh, big property up there. Yeah, there's a good chance I'll set up the, the, the camping stuff. But some of the other stuff I may not need, so we'll get rid of that too. Now, if I can just figure out a way to do consistent podcasting, we'll be all right. That's really been my biggest issue. I Unfortunately, I may have to eventually break down and switch phone companies again and get myself back on some kind of unlimited plan and then just start you know, tethering to my phone instead. Uh, I was trying to avoid doing that, but you know, I'm, it may become a necessity if I keep having problems trying to record stuff. But, you know... Right now, doing solo stuff's easy. I can record by myself, and as long as I can get the Wi-Fi to upload, I'm, I've been all right. So we'll figure it out. But So that is how the inside of the vehicle is looking currently. And, uh, you know, as always, in a couple of days, it may change again. But, yeah, basically I'm just trying to get us the most amount of room and also position things in a way that I have to move the least amount of stuff at the end of the night uh, to set us up. You know, because really what I, I prefer to do is pull into the marina start setting up the uh window the the blackout shades and then move whatever little amount i hopefully have to move and then you know put everything in position and then i can either read or watch a movie or whatever and uh and take murder dog out for her last walk and then uh try to get some sleep you know and uh unfortunately those blackout shades they're still like i said they're still working well you know i said in an earlier video they're still working well as far as keeping the light out um, you know, I keep waking up early, but I really think that's because of my bladder and not because of the, uh, the light, because it really doesn't seem to be that bright in the car when I actually wake up. But the suction cups are not the greatest on these things. Now, I shouldn't expect, like, you know, wonderful quality. These, you know, these, these things came uh, two in a pack for nine bucks from China. Um, so, you know, quality craftsmanship may not be exactly the case here, but... Uh, yeah, they're just, they're, 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 like I said, the shades themselves do the job I need them to do, but the suction cups are a pain in the ass. Like, sometimes you can just, like, kind of tap it against the window, and it'll stick right away and hold. And other times you're, like, pressing down, and, like, the second, like, you let go and turn around, and it pops right back off again. You know, try wetting them, leaving them dry. I've tried every different variation of this, and it's just, like, it's pretty much a crapshoot um, on a few of these suction cups. So, you know... It's kind of frustrating, but again, you get what you pay for. So for a total of, what did I spend? I got three of those, so 27 bucks. Thir for a total of 37, 37, my favorite, you know, the, the everybody thinks the answer to everything is 42 because of the hitchhiker, no. See the hitchhiker's got to the gas, no, 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 37. 37 is always the answer. 
Um, 37. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In a row? Again, bonus points if you get that reference. Um, most people should. I would, I would hope so. If you don't, what are you living under a rock? Anyway, um, yeah, for a total of 37 bucks, because I got the one for the back window for free, you know, like I said, they're doing the job. It's just a, a hassle to, to put them up sometimes, but, you know, maybe I'll figure out a better method. Maybe not. But for now, that's what we're working with, so... That is uh, that is the element as of uh, June 8th, I think. I think it's the day of the 8th. Yeah, that's the way things look on the 8th. Let's see how they look on the 9th or the 10th. But we are still out here. We are still rocking it. This is day 9 now, and uh, we got a lot more to go. But stay tuned. I'll keep trying to mix these uh, little videos in with all the other, uh, with the daily vlogs and stuff. And uh, got some more podcasts coming out soon too, so those will be up too. So again, if you have, if you just follow me through the through my vlog series and you haven't checked out my podcast, go check some of those out too. Got a season Liberty coming out soon. Put out the AA episode yesterday with Anthony uh, today with Anthony Samaroff. Good times, good times. All right, I think it's about time for me to go find a bathroom, and then I got to go take Murder Dog for her walk. Uh, hopefully, the videos all finish uploading soon, and uh, we're gonna get the heck out of here and uh, go figure out something to do for the rest of the day. And uh, we'll check back in later. Abolitionist day out. Peace, y'all.